and third it is it, it is done by the uh, docker and kubernetes the list you know, nas moderns and then if the deployment is done by the cloud platform the google or amazon even though it is we are ready so it doesn't matter where you try to install so you need to be understand the basic structure the deployment process so development process and deployment process that means developments you are i know you are getting really clear pictures development for the for those who are the beginners or freshers let's understand that deployment is really important part you can pack to your application but you don't know how it's deploying how the what is the possibility to deploy the application so now you get it the pictures you have a deployment process with the standalone jar you have a deployment with uh, docker and docker compose or you have a deployment with uh, docker or kubernetes or you have a kubernetes with uh, with the, our cloud platform providers so that means that's if you if you if, if that means we can now discuss the our applications <clears throat> so it is the very simple applications we defined our application.eml files we have defined our port numbers and here that's the the development part i will discuss a little bit later how you can really professionally structure it uh, those applications like the controllers model so con models and and then you have a service interface definitions and the service implementations and the repository so that means model repository con uh, service service implementations and the controller the really really standard structure and exceptions on exception handling structure that's the part i will discuss a little bit later with you how it is works how can you really clearly understand and all things together the developments i will discuss a little bit later but after the development what happening how can you deploy how can you configure your application that's the main idea for this uh, this screencast so you see i will discuss every part of the development after the next screencast so you see now application is there so here i need to be a little bit some part of the discussion because uh, some lot of the subscribers viewers asking me how the how the how the uh, command line arguments works that's why i try to to share with you some information how the, the how can you pass the your command line arguments uh, and how can you how could set your command line argument that's the idea uh, how you can deploy the applications if you have a such a let's let's have a look and this is the part of the start to look so i have some some configurations of settings uh, if, if i go to there so you see so it has environments uh, environmental settings and then if i go to the service startup service startup this is the service and then <coughs> then this is our job files let's 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 distribute a little bit later so definitions so that means that's the reason why i put like that way so i just like which parameter which argument i pass i just simply print it i can see it because the lot of the subscribers and you are asking me how it is work they don't know but maybe they are the fresher is don't know how it is works that's why i try to give some overview we don't need to be this one to to log in or to see the how the parameter is passing because this is the standard spring boot stray application structures but uh, because how can you pass how it is override the your arguments if you externally put this information and uh, configure the information that's what i did here in the into the your service if you see uh, what how it works so i set the, all the environment variables and this is the environmental variables settings and it is called is here so all the calling is here to set this variable and standard uh, at a jar java jar and simply set the values that's why i put it here the environment variables that's the things i will discuss a little bit later how it is works when i start the application when i build the applications the then jar files and start the configurations so that means we have the application main class we have application.eml files that this is the ml files we need to be understand because this is the multi multi environment deployment email files so you need to be deployed just which profiles you are so maybe you know if if to if someone who don't know how it is spring profiling works just look for my channel there is a many videos about different environments uh, configurations it previous video it was depending on the 
application dot properties files you need to be application dot minus development production test and then so on and so forth for email case you can put it the multiple documents in the single page what i did here this case so these are simply deploy the applications which environment you try to deploy and and changes the you your database connections so you have a, the development environments it has application names it's a driver names and this is the database username uh, password even though you can change it because this is the external configuration that's i try to share with you this is you can see simply change your username password this case and it's automatically deployed that's i said so you develop your application, you put your configuration, you set these two files or any, any somehow and give, give, give the de uh, deployment teams. Here is the script files. You just simply run this script and deploy the application. How many environments, how many machines they need, just simply they run it into the, into the applications in the different environments. That's, that's the things. Really standard way how we can deploy the application based on the standalone jar files. So uh, that means so it's, we have a settings a URL setting username password because this is the part we need to be override uh, override from the from the, our environmental setting files. That's the information I need to be passed. So you see here the environmental settings file. Oops. So you can you can see the setting information. There are the other other things the standard structure like the the project main structure. I already started the some uh, the unit testing tools. This is started what I, I already uh, described in here the presentation part. This is the part the testing part. Even though this have a code and then you have a development testing part. And after the testing part, you can integrate the Postman test. That's I already working here the Postman test. That's if I see you see the the application is running uh, just you simply uh, i don't know th uh, uh, this may be the application so you see uh, applications is application running and this is the things i already configure no it is not Uh, it is not uh, the files that I forget which applications uh, two zero uh, <clears throat> So let's have a checked uh, which one it is the 998 uh, 998 spring boot uh, uh, this is the configurations as I have it uh, like a JWT so let let's check the deployment first and then after the deployments I will I will I will look for that uh, the, the connectivity and then uh, he'll check for files no it is not but that's the case so let's let's have a check the application itself and how can you deploy the application after the building the you standalone jar files so it's is everybody knows how can you jar build the jar files you just simply simply write down a commands to maven clean install packet then after the packet is created then you just simply copy what i did just simply copy the jar files into my respective directory so i copy the directory in the jar files in here so you see the the copy and what i did and then and then i start the configurations so just i put it here what's the the xml file the eml file is located exactly the same structure so you see xml eml file it has 2020 port is configured and then other ports is 29090 doesn't matter and after the definition that's i change it like like the application port of what i said application port and the 2020 i changed it to application port because this is the the installation team just need to be which port are free their applications even you can pass also the also the where their java located if it's not java it is not required but i put it here where the simple java located for 
for for a standalone jar file deployment so it seems we put it here the you see the we put it our jar files that we are in the same directory the working directory root 